Hello and welcome to another support video of Nexus Themes. In this video I will show you how you can turn on and how you can turn off or enable or disable the caching feature of your WordPress theme. And for this demonstration I'll be using the Locksmith WordPress theme but please note that it works the same for all the themes that we provide. If you want to enable the cache or disable the cache then go to the site dashboard so that's by hovering over this icon you can go to the site dashboard of the site. You'll get a pop-up and the pop-up has all kinds of options and one of them is the cache management. You can see that one right here. So to change or to manage the cache simply click on the manage button and at the moment you click on it here you will see the options for the cache system. So if you want to turn on caching simply turn on the checkbox here and if you want to turn it off, simply uncheck that box. So in this case I will turn it on and I will tell the system to expire the items automatically for, uh, let's say, um, after 24 hours, so that's one day. If you hit save, that will mean that at the moment you have a certain page which is being requested. The first time it re-renders the entire page, it will store the result on the server. And at the, that moment that the, the, the item is stored on the server, it will mean that the second request, so the request after the first time it, it, it creates it, it will reuse the HTML. And of course the big benefit there is that it will save uh, huge amounts of time to render the page. It could save up to, to a couple of, of milliseconds and each millisecond that you save is beneficial for the end user's experience and of course for the ranking of that particular page in the Google rankings uh, factor and, and for other search engines as well probably. Uh, the downside, of course, is that uh, the cached items uh, consume space on your server. So the more items there are in the cache, the slower, or not the slower, but uh, the more disk space will be, will be used. So if you want to prevent that, then you can turn off the, the caching feature. But in most cases, uh, you, will, you will have a quite tremendous amount of disk space, probably, and you will, uh, you will want to turn on the cache feature. All right. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions on the caching feature or any of the other features in our themes, please do let us know because we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.